Hey, what's up, handsome? You work today? No. Okay, I'm waiting for a package. Please call me once um, you get it. I want to see what it is. And please do me a favor. Pick up this room. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Well, rain is coming. I have four kids and two of them are in the 30s and my twins are 19. And you know what? I'm very proud of them. And I'm also proud of myself for doing a good job as a parent. Because as a parent, all we care is our kids to be good human beings. Stay humble, be respectful to others. The degrees and uh, money, that's, that's a whole different story. But all you care as a parent is for your kids to be decent human beings. Now, let's go to the shop. Renovation done, back to work. There's something I noticed in this month doing the renovation that once you're off your routine, that you stop doing what you like, keeping busy, printing, um, I kind of felt that depression coming. I got it for about two, three days, even though everything is going well, everything is good, but when you stop doing what you like, you know, doing every day, what makes you um, get up in the morning. I noticed that that's how depression will sneak in. So let's just um, stay busy. <sighs> okay, I'm excited today. Today, we're gonna try this baby out today. Oh, we're gonna set up the side clamps and see the difference between side clamps and front clamps. So let's do this. Let me tell you the main reason I wanted the Anatole Thunder Press, and it was for these babies right here. Side clamps. Always dealt with that front clamp, and the things about the front clamp, there was some parts that I didn't like was when you're printing 30, 50 shirts over that, it's intent to move a bit. It got off, the, especially when you're doing any butt registration, it was just moving off. I had put it back in, I understand. It's only one piece holding the whole screen. The other part was that when it came to the off contact, it gave it a little like, it, it, it left the pallet, but yeah, the clamp is here, but it's just like the top was always higher than here. It was never even. And testing this side clamp, that, that off contact is nice and level, and I know it's not gonna shift if I'm printing 100 t-shirts. It's not gonna shift, especially if I'm doing any um, spot colors where I need that registration to be right on tap. I think this is gonna be perfect. The other thing I noticed was that the Dunder does not bring the front clamp. It's just the side clamps. So when I came, I tried to put the screen thinking there was uh, something to stop it, and the screen just went right through. <laughs> no, you have to bring it down, and then come with the screen, slide it in. The other part, make sure that when you're sliding in the screen through on your side clamps, don't try to put the side clamps completely locked in the side at the beginning, because when you bring it down, you want to wiggle the screen just to register and then you could lock them up so you could have a good registration. So now I just clapped in the pallet and let me show you how the off contact is so level. Look, beautiful. It's not high all the way at the front of the pallet and where the clamp is, it's still same as same level as the other one so that makes a big difference so when you're trying to do this butt registration it's not gonna get off believe me if it's a little higher the screen than the bottom of the screen and you bring it down it's just gonna throw it off and this is 
why I wanted this press. Okay, so I already did my test on the pellet. Came out real nice, nice and clean. Now, 40 shirts, six pallets. Let's see how long am I gonna take to do this. This is a print flash print on a red shirt, white ink. So I just wanna know how fast without going to the flasher and moving it out and then bringing it back in, just, just, just keep placing shirts on the pallet. Let's see, let's do this. Let me tell you, so happy with this rapid wave flasher. The sensor, I don't have to worry about it. It's gonna speed up my process so fast. I've been going through these shirts and I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Awesome. Okay, job done. Check it out, real nice. One thing I noticed was that with my old one, four pallet and a small conveyor dryer and the flasher that I have to do, when it came to white t-shirts, I used to do about 50 shirts an hour. And when it came to print flash print, let's say on a black shirt, just 30, Five t-shirts used to take me about a little over an hour, like an hour and 15 minutes because of the small conveyor dryer and the flashing unit. And this six pallets right here, flasher, sensor flasher, and the big conveyor dryer. While the other one is about to go in, I still have room to put the other shirt on the conveyor dryer and keep it moving. Wow, man. 40 shirts, 35 minutes, print, flash, print. Yeah. Oh, we're going to be speeding up our workflow right now. So I enjoyed it, I love it. Can't wait to start doing uh, multicolor and find out the registration, how fast I'm gonna register a two, three, four, five color job, even a six color job, can't wait for it. But the next video, I have a five color print. So we're gonna be talking about those slow. If you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all, be grateful, stay safe, and. Peace out.